Hello and welcome to EDTC 631 Instructional Design. We're going to have a very quick orientation so we all understand where our resources can be found. The first thing to note is that our website is at www.ehorner.net forward slash instruct design. I will be delivering most of your content through this particular website. This is a web piece or course that's being retooled for WordPress and until the piece is completed I don't want to post it on the MSCT website. Our session dates are May 27th through June 29th. It is a fairly tight fast-paced summer and our weekly assignments are 20% of our grade. Module 1 is 40%, Module 2 is also 40%. Of course you'll have many details related to all three of these elements as we get into our website. Of note, it's very important to understand that your weekly assignments will lead directly into your module one and two learning pieces. Therefore, as long as you keep up with your weekly assignments, you will do fine in terms of preparing for module one and module two. The framework that we are going to follow, each graduate class meets for 15 sessions. In order to do that over the summer, we break that into calendar weeks. So each chunk or calendar week is equal to three sessions. Each session is composed of readings, web development work, exercises. You'll be submitting most of your work through your website, some of it through the Moodle. All of your grades will be posted through the Moodle. If you need to reach out and get in touch with me, please email me at ehorner at ramapo.edu. Throughout the course, I will also be asking you to sign up for Google and Google Plus to get into Google Hangouts so that we can communicate via a video chat if necessary. Let's go ahead and take a look at our website. And super important to remember, breathe deep, you can do this. And let's jump over to our website. The uh, quick orientation here, of course, is starting uh, in the upper left. Whenever you are throughout the website, just as in any WordPress, if you click on the main title, that will take you back to your home page. But in addition here, I have a home page over to the right-hand side. I've got a resources tab that has got some information on it that we'll be referring to, but it is otherwise just resources. I've got some teaching samples in here. These are the places that I go to uh, give examples, etc. You don't necessarily need to go there, but you're certainly welcome to if you'd like. Along our right hand side, I've got our assignments, and we can see that our assignments for chunk one or uh, week one, and this is sessions one, two, and three, are posted. Note that all of the activities in each of our chunks will always be due the following Sunday at 10 p.m. I do that so that you can pace yourself in terms of getting work done. Also understanding that sometimes during the week things take up your time otherwise, such as work and life. And if that's the case, please devote some time on the weekend to getting your assignments done. Generally speaking, however, even though activities are due at 10 p.m. on a Sunday evening, I will usually open up the next chunk, for example, in this case, four, five, and six, I will usually open that up the Saturday morning, mainly because some students are going to be ahead of the curve and they're going to want to um, get stuff done for the weekend for the next session and they want to get it done early. Some folks are going to be working in this particular session. It's fine whether you're choosing to push uh, forge ahead through sessions in the next chunk or whether you're just working chunk by chunk. Again, just know that I will be posting the next sessions about 24 hours earlier so that you can get started if you want to. We will be using our course Moodle, which let me just show you super quick is this. And in here you will have the variety of activities. And before I leave this particular page, note that you will also have your grades listed in here. And so this is the place to come and check on your grades as well as taking a look at um, 
submitting any extra assignments that you may have. Okay. Um, back here at our com, uh, common resource in terms of the website, we also have our syllabus, our calendar supplies. There are links out to the website for students through Ramapo, uh, the academic calendars, and of course, Alert Me Now is very important. Note that we really will never close for a campus problem because we are an online class. We do not need to worry about any kind of campus closings. We will simply follow the pace that we are, are using. For the moment, those are the things to take a look at. Go ahead and get started into session one, and I'll see you in a bit.